Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today is Bookless Thursday and Bookless Thursday is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. So today's theme came from, was I, I was either watching something or listening to something and somebody made mention of a someday TBR and a light bulb moment went off and I'm like, oh, this is genius because I think we all have books on our shelves that are ex books we were really excited to get and excited to bring into our house and be on our shelves, but they kind of went to the back of the line maybe to my someday TBR. Like I'm not exactly excited to read them at this moment, but I'm not, like I don't want to get rid of them. I want to read them. So I have five books on my someday TBR, which I guess... All of these could be my someday TBR. Let's just get started. So the first one I have on my someday TBR is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is part of the Hunger Games trilogy, but gives us this, the background story of President Snow, who is, gosh, like one of the ultimate villains in my opinion, but gives us that background. Now, I haven't heard the greatest things about this, but there's part of me that just feels like I need to know what the story is. Um, and I kind of compare this to the Lunar Chronicles um, series, and then you have the novella that is called Ferris that talks about um, Queen, the Queen. Can't think of her name right now either. Apparently it's a day. Um, which, was it a book that blew me away? No, but I really did like having that piece of the story. So I feel like that's where I'm sitting with this one. Um, it's been sitting on my like TBR shelf down there for quite a while. I think I just need to bring it out, put it with my green book so I can kind of see it a little bit more and get to this someday. Okay, so the next book that I have on my someday TBR is The Bells by Don Donnella Clayton. Um, this is actually a book I won through, I really think I won this through Bookish First. It's a website you can sign up and do like early reviews. You read a snippet of a book that's coming out, you leave your review and you can potentially win from there. So I'm pretty sure this was one of the books that I won from that website. Um, first of all, let's just admire the beauty that is the, that are these end papers. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So this follows um, Camellia. Uh, she is a bell, and bells. There's this kingdom of Orleans, which I kind of picture like a New Orleans type esque place. Um, and bells have the ultimate power. They're the ones that control beauty, and beauty is above all other commodities in this kingdom. So everyone is born gray and talentless, and unless you have the help of a bell to give you beauty and give you talent. To be successful you can't be successful so uh, camilla camelia i think yeah camelia her desire is to be like the queen of all the bells and be the best bell that she can be and you can only get that by being kind of chosen by the queen of orleans so her and her other bell sisters move into the palace to kind of fulfill this desire and she starts learning there's a little bit more to her than she thought there's a little bit more power to her than she thought. And then she's asked to help the princess out in an unconventional way. Kind of takes her down maybe some secrets, maybe a path she shouldn't be going down. Sounds interesting. Just hasn't made my radar yet. I don't know. Someday TBR. Next one I have on my Someday TBR is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey and Nifeninger. Um, I feel I feel like this is a book that everyone else has read that I haven't read. Um, follows our main character. We have Claire. She falls in love with Henry. Henry is a time traveler. Um, and so she only gets to see him through certain parts of her life as he travels forward and backwards in time. I just haven't gotten to it. I don't know why. All right, last two, I can tell you exactly why I haven't gotten to them because my headspace isn't quite here yet, but it will be someday. First one I have, Only Plane in the Sky. It's an oral history of 9-11 by Garrett Graff. This is a comp compilation of um, the conversations between pilots, the 
military conversations, the first response conversations. It's, it's an oral history of what happened on 9-11. I've heard it's hard to read, um, but I feel like I just, it's just one of those books I need to read. I need to read. This book is heavy. <laughs> like, this has some major weight to it. Um, but yeah, we have, it's, I mean, it's told as, as, I guess a transcript, I guess, is what I'm looking for. And there's pictures and, um, other stuff in here but again need to be in the right headspace for that one the last book that i have on my someday tbr is the splendid and the vile by eric larson this is the story of winston churchill his family and what happened during the blitz in london um this is this is a this is a big book for Lindsay. this is a big oh maybe not it's 500 pages it's not horrendous it might be an audiobook but anyways I am becoming more and more interested in this because I have been obsessed and binge watching The Crown like crazy person lately. Um, so you got, I got a glimpse of Churchill and his relationship with the Queen at the time and kind of what he did, that side of him. Um, so I'm very, very, very interested. But it's just a big book. It's a big book. But I think it'd be really cool. So that's my Sunday TBR, five books. They're on my shelves. I'm going to get to them some someday. So head over to Sarah's channel, see what she has for today's, vid, for today's book list Thursday. Otherwise, comment, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.